Russia issues new surrender deadline for Mariupol troops. Russia has renewed its ultimatum to Ukrainian forces in Mariupol, as Western nations vowed further military aid to Kyiv. The Battle of the Donbas, as described by Ukrainian authorities, has seen tens of thousands of Russian soldiers advance with artillery and rocket fire. Moscow has been forced to emphasis on separatist territories after an eight-week assault failed to seize any of Ukraine's biggest cities. Russia. Nearly five million people have fled their homes and towns as a result of the most devastating assault on a European state since 1945. According to a Ukrainian presidential advisor, Russia was using bunker buster bombs to target the Azovstal steel complex, the last major holding in Mariupol, local time. Reuters was unable to independently verify the information. As the clock ticked down to midnight, Russia's defense ministry claimed that no Ukrainian soldiers had surrendered and reissued the proposal. Commanders in Ukraine have promised to resist capitulation. More artillery will be sent by the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom, and fresh sanctions are being readied, according to the White House. According to Reuters, U.S. Vice President Joe Biden is poised to make an announcement regarding military funding similar to the 800 million United States dollars, 1.1 billion Australian dollars, one announced last week in the coming days. During the Orthodox Christian holiday of Easter, Un-Secretary General Antonio Guterres has asked for a four-day humanitarian ceasefire to enable people to flee and humanitarian supplies to be delivered. Already dire, global food insecurity is being exacerbated by Russia's Ukraine conflict, according to U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen. To demilitarize and denuclearize Ukraine, Russia initiated a special military operation on February 24, according to the Russian government. That's a justification that Kyiv and its Western supporters reject. Taking Kremina, an 18,000-person administrative hub in Luhansk, Ukraine reported the fresh attack had captured it. Sergei Lavrov, Russia's foreign minister, has stated that a new phase of this operation is underway. For the Donbas offensive, Russia has shifted its focus from the north to the east after being repelled by Ukrainian forces in March. Around 120 residents of the Azovstal steel factory neighborhood in Mariupol, the site of the war's bloodiest combat and greatest humanitarian disaster, were reported to have fled through humanitarian corridors on Tuesday, citing Russian state television. Since the beginning of the conflict, Mariupol has been under siege. Over 20,000 people, according to Ukraine's estimates, have been killed as a result of the conflict.